Hi friends, today I am back and today we are going to discuss about a very important and interesting career and that is MBBS. Yes, to become a doctor is a dream for many. We often envisage ourselves wearing a white coat, having the stetho in our hands, measuring the pulse of a patient, having a broad smile with a confident personality. And not only that it is an aspiration, it is also one of the most respected jobs in the world. It's one of the most noble profession in the world. This is because they are the doctors are considered next to God who have the power to heal a sick person. A man who can treat any ailment and of course the second thing is the perquisites the money the perks that comes along you may be a celebrity you may be a small time businessman you may be the prime minister or anyone but Every person at one point of time needs a doctor. At present, the scenario of MBBS category in our country is slightly different. So today we are going to discuss how we become a doctor. And if you are dreaming to become a medical profession, that is a doctor then what are the aspects what are the different fields that you can pursue in the later stages now first of all doctor means when we say it is the very starting is MBBS that is bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery that's a five and a half years ug program but when we say the word doctor it doesn't confine to mbbs it is also including the dental ayush that is ayurvedic and homeopathic and i'm going to discuss about the dis about the admissions to all of the courses because they are all integrated, they are all combined in one sense. To become a doctor, first of all, you need to take physics, chemistry and biology in your 11th and 12th standard. Because these are the subjects which would be pursued by you in your later stages at one point, what, some point of time. That means you are going to take PCB and of course English is must. Then once you complete your 12th standard, you are supposed to apply for NEET, the National Eligibility Exam. And now there is no direct entry to any of the medical colleges. You need to go through NEET. Yes, AIMS has their own exam, but for other NEET is a compulsory entrance exam to take MBBS in India. It's an important medical entrance exam and it is right now conducted across 154 centers in India. As that is the first one. That is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test, NEET. 
then aims mbbs then jipmet jawaharlal institute of post graduate medical education and research once you clear your neat you have your scores and based on the scores you have the all india counseling the state counseling you have first round second round mop up round next is what is all india counseling and what is state counseling there are some now let me come to the reality check as per the data of 2021 there were around 1 and 1/2 lakh students who had given this exam and at present we are having 88120 mbbs seats and 27498 bds seats this is according to the ministry of health which uh, announces in the parliament recently though the number of seats have been increased yet this is the reality check now what happens when you apply for these seats first of all there is a proper reservation system that means around 50% goes into the reserve category in different areas now for the remaining 50% the general category has to apply so it depends on your score that in which college you are going to get the admission now there is one problem that many of the parents they come across and they say that they want mbbs very nearby let me tell all the parents and all the students that mbbs cannot be completed sitting at your home you cannot make your sit, uh, child as a baby you, you cannot be a babysitter for your child the child has to go to the hostel in second or third year specific uh, most of the time it is second year so if the child is going somewhere out if he is getting a better opportunity you should not leave it the first we need to clear in our have the clarity that if you are pursuing mbbs or bds or any medical profession you should be ready to venture out of your area now you have ventured you have to complete you will be having comprehensive study you have to work in the hospitals means you will be given a practical training at, at the same time you will be having the theoretical also you have the exposure and after that you have an internship in all the areas that is covered under medical or dental fraternity that depends into which you have got now let us say a person has got an x score then as i said you will be having the criteria there are 50% around 50% you will be there in the general category for the medical government colleges then comes the private colleges that is a deemed university and 50% of the all india quota in all government medical colleges means if you are applying for the all india quota then you come under the 50% all india quota that means you are eligible for all those colleges where you have applied and then there are some state counseling also some of the states are closed states means they don't allow the other people other Uh, students from other states to apply for the counseling but some of the states are open they allow it that depends so that depends on the state now next is the private colleges and private colleges also comes under the all india quota 
the deemed universities and the all india quota but the fee for any private college is quite exaggerated that depends in which area you are going to take so you have to be very aware you should not be lured that i am going to become a doctor so let me pay this much of amount because you have to shed a very good amount in your post grads once again so now based on your score you may be getting the colleges means when you are putting the counseling you will be you can look into the last years matrix and you will understand that at this score what were the areas where a student where a student got it so based on that you can put your own choices now let us say if you are into mbbs then first of all the government colleges then the deemed universities which comes under the all india quota and if, if you are not getting then the second is the bds bachelors of dental surgery it also has a lot of scope as i would speak against those people who say bds doesn't have a scope it has lots of scope the one, only one thing is that today you need to find out those scopes if you want to keep a beautiful smile if you want to keep your jaws intact everything comes under the oral surgery so bds also has lots of scope and you can consider that so the next one will be coming for the bds then bams that is ayurvedic and then homeopathic these are the main four areas where you can become a doctor now after completing your what you call as counseling procedure you after having your scores you will be having the counseling after completing the counseling you have first second and third round so if in the first round you have got a college which you were not expecting you can try for the second once you have got into the college you will be completing your studies then with your internship then after coming to what you call as the doctor immediately you will not be having that much scope so you should not dream about that you can practice in clinics you can practice in hospitals you can practice on your own but it takes time but if you want to become a specialist then you have to go for the post graduation and post graduation again will go through the same procedure that you have to go for neat pg post grads and for neat pg you have two different exams one is for the mbbs pg that is for md and ms and second one is for mds that is for the dental surgery because in dental we have nine different streams again in mbbs post grads you have different screens so once again you have to go through the preparation that you can start in the third fourth year it depends on your own convenience then you can apply the same uh, the same procedure will go the counseling will come then it depends on your marks that in which specialization you are going to get the admission because you have radiologist you have neurologist you have cardiologist you have obstetrician and gynecologist you have cardio you have anesthetist you have different kinds of sir orthopedics so that now that it comes that where you are going to get once again the same procedure that the number of seats in government colleges then the private colleges 
there is an all india quota all india counseling you can apply for them if your scores are well good you may get into a government college and then if it not then you can apply for the all india quota deemed universities which comes under the all india quota and then the same procedure that there are some states which are open or closed if you are a domicile of a particular state you can apply there in the state counseling also and then you have all these specialties like dermatologist psychologist psychiatrist there is always a difference between psychologist and psychiatrist psychologist is a person who will be studying the human behavior from the behavioral point he can be an educational psychologist a career counseling psychologist a family psychologist marriage psychologist but psychiatrist is a person who treats a person when there is some illness related to mind so many of the people are unaware of the differences between psychologist and psychiatrist and today we need both of them but if you want to pursue psychiatrist then once you become mbbs then you have to go for the stream in that md you have to go now ms is masters in surgery means if you want to have your hands on the surgery part then you have to go for surgery and if you want to go for the medicinal part then it is md in the same manner if you are going in dental specialization then you have the same thing is there what what we have for the mbbs that is you have the orthodontics you have the oral surgery dentofacial orthodontics and dentofacial orthopedics pediatric the one who treats the child then periodontics prosthodontics oral and maxillofacial surgery means everything related to your oral then oral and uh, endodontics public health and in this manner you have nine different specialties where you can master yourself so both in mbbs or in bds you have the speciality and once you complete that speciality then you will become the doctor of that particular specialization in our country we also have the third option that is ayurvedic doctor and they also have the ayurvedic medicine as well as dental hospitals dental clinic and for the past few years we also have boomed up in this area most of the government colleges are having their ayurvedic department now and ayush ministry has already given the not to bams so you also have the ayurvedic practitioner which can be the third what we can say option for you similarly like mbbs in ayurveda also you have the masters same goes the only thing is that it deals with ayurveda the natural ingredients it deals with sanskrit you have the charak specializations and with this ayush not we also have bms colleges they also go through the same procedure there is a counseling then you can get admission into the same procedure is there you have to complete your graduation then you have to go for the internship and then you can get a posting or else if you want to go for the masters you can go in for in 
a nutshell i can say that becoming an becoming a doctor is really a dream but it is also a very very tough job believe me many of the students who enter into B, um, mbbs bds or any medical field many of them are not able to cope up with the pressure because the pressure is extreme and many of the students they drop out they go for other courses like bsc or something else so you have to be very particular that if you have that perseverance that you can then you should enter into this field because doctors are the one who are going to who are said to be next after god and always believe on yourself because you are going to treat you are going to be the hope for someone today medicine field has a vast arena moreover you also have certain opportunities to become doctor in other countries abroad but the criteria for different countries are different for example if you want to go to germany there you have to german there you have to pass german language and if after mbbs you want to go pursue masters then there is definitely a small bridge that you have to cross because mbbs or bds from india is not recognized everywhere we need to go for certain bridge course we have to pass their exams but yes there are some countries like uzbekistan azeri azbek jan nepal where we can have a direct entry the fee is also very less as well as when they come back after giving an exam which is of course tough which is conducted by mci the person can practice in india so you need to keep all these things in your mind while you are appearing while you are preparing yourselves for medicine now the next question comes ki is medicine very difficult to crack no once you are thorough with your basics right from 6th standard when we start if we are thorough with our science basics then it is not difficult to crack any exam and one should not only focus on cracking the exam it is also the scores which matters and also how you are going to pursue it many a times i see people pressurizing only for cracking the exam it's not cracking it's with good scores so that you are able to pull your career in the right directions like any other industry medicine is also a complete full fledged industry yet it is a noble profession so with this i'll give a stop to my words we'll meet with some new interesting careers in our next sessions bye have a good day